So of course I can only speak for myself, but I have to say that I love a good old long haul video. So that's what I have for you guys today. I have a very long fragrance haul. Get your snack, get your coffee, get your wine, and let's get into some fragrances. into the fragrances I do want to quickly introduce myself my name is Aisha I make videos about fragrance beauty luxury and lifestyle if those are things you're into please go ahead and subscribe now and if you are a returning subscriber hey y'all welcome back to my channel so recently I put up a poll on my YouTube community page asking you guys if you wanted to see one long fragrance haul or if you wanted me to split it into two parts you guys said one long one, so here we are. I have a lot to share with you, and I have to say that most of these were like Christmas gifts to myself. <laughs> so these are things that I started purchasing probably around like Black Friday, all the way up until just like last week. <laughs> and I've been saving them. So the stuff that I purchased around Black Friday, at that time I purchased it, I'm like, Aisha, you need to enjoy what you have. So you can't open them until Christmas. That was my thing that in Chris, at Christmas, I was going to start using them. But then I decided I want to do a haul for you guys. So I decided to wait until I did this haul to actually start using these fragrances. So like I said, most of them are from late 2020. There are some that are from this month, January 2021, but all of these were not purchased at the exact same time. So first up are some fragrances that I picked up from the brand Kayali. Kayali is under the Huda Beauty brand, but Kayali is the fragrance branch of them. And I already own the vanilla fragrance from this line. And I also own some travel sprays from this line. And because I had those travel sprays, I knew there were two that I wanted to pick up. So when Kayali had a sale, I think they were like 30 or 40% off. I went ahead and picked up two of the fragrances. Now, like I said, I do have the miniatures of these, so I've smelled them before, but I honestly have only worn the miniatures probably once each, if that. Um, <laughs> so these are kind of like, I still don't really know the fragrances. So the first one that I picked up is Musk 12, and all of their fragrances have a name, and then they have a number, and that number indicates how many times it basically took them to get the formula right. So that means they tweaked the formula on this particular one 12 times before they got the one that they enjoyed. Um, but this is what the box looks like. And I actually think it's really nice. It's different. And I just think they did a great job with packaging for these fragrances. So when you open it up, I think that's really cool as well. <laughs> um, all the bottles look the same from Kayali except the color of the juice. So this one I really like. It's kind of more of a natural color juice. Let's spray it. I love the sprayer on these too. They're all very nice. So this one, I was actually very excited to get um, when I got the little travel pack because I don't have a lot of musk scent and I'm just starting to kind of get into musk. And this is one that I just really like. It's a clean smelling musk. It does not smell animalic. Of course it is synthetic, but that doesn't matter. But yeah, it's just very clean while still having some like fruity edge to it. But it's not a fruity scent. It's definitely a musky, cleaner skin smelling scent. But it just, there's something about it that just smells so comforting. I love this and it's not overpowering at all. I think I can wear this one year round. I also think this would be perfect for mixing, but I love it alone. And when I smelled this scent for the first time, like I said, this is my second time smelling it because I had the little travel spray. Um, but when I smelled this for the first time, I immediately loved it. And then I also started wondering about the Narciso Rodriguez musk because I know that company is known for their musk. And because I like this one so much, it kind of has opened my eyes to the world of musk. So yeah, this one is really nice. I love it. The other one that I picked up is Elixir 11, and this one is in a black box, which I think is really cool. Um, I said all the bottles were the same, but that was a lie because this one is a black bottle. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. I really love this. And this one I've been interested in for a while. So this fragrance is all about the red apple to me. That's what makes it stand out in my opinion. I can also smell the rose in this fragrance. I'm not a huge fan of rose, but I think it's done really well in here. 
and I can smell it, but it's not overpowering at all. The apple to me is the most prominent note. And then it smells like vanilla is in here as well and possibly something like incense. <sighs> really, really stunning, y'all. Um, this one to me smells more expensive than what Kayali fragrances are. And overall, I think they smell expensive. I don't think they smell cheap. I mean, they're not cheap, but they're not like ridiculously priced like some of the fragrances I own. So yes, this one is Elixir 11. I'm super excited to actually wear this one. Also, they sent me their set of samples. I think it includes just their four initial fragrances they came out with. Um, I don't need this because I already have the little miniature. So if you guys are interested in getting this, leave me a comment down below that you want to enter this little impromptu giveaway. So just write like hashtag enter me. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, I'll pick somebody randomly and send this out to you all. I know this is like a, just a tiny giveaway, but I, I'm not going to use this. So I might as well give it to one of y'all if you want to try out the Kayali fragrances. So next up, I have a fragrance from Tom Ford. And this is not a new fragrance, but it's one that I never really knew if I wanted. I've smelled it before, but when you see the fragrance, you'll probably realize why I wasn't sure if I wanted it. But this fragrance is Jasmine Rouge. And the reason I wasn't sure if I wanted it is because usually I don't like Jasmine. I think when I think about Jasmine, I think of that alien, like Mugler alien type Jasmine. And alien actually gives me a headache. <laughs> That's why I do not own that fragrance anymore. I had it for a while, but I couldn't wear it. So alien gives me a headache. So sometimes Jasmine kind of scares me. Um, so that's why I'm kind of like iffy on Jasmine scents. But this one has been around a while. This bottle I actually picked up secondhand on Mercari. Um, it was a decent price, but I've seen this like at the outlet stores. If you have any like cosmetic company outlets near you, you can find this one for a discounted price because it's one of the older scents from Tom Ford from the private line. And I know a lot of you probably already own this anyway, but this one to me definitely <laughs> smells like Jasmine. And this one also has like a vintage feel to it. So it's kind of a heavier floral, but in a way it's also kind of sexy. And I don't even know how to explain that really, because like I said, I'm not a Jasmine lover and I'm typically not a heavy floral lover. But since I got Amouage Blossom Love, um, which is a, another heavy floral, it, that one is based on Cherry Blossom, but I feel like that scent kind of reminds me of this scent in the way that they're heavy and kind of like vintage smelling but at the same time, like seductive, like for some reason, I cannot stop smelling this. And I've smelled this in store before and I had that same like thought that I can't stop smelling it, but I never thought that it smelled like me. <laughs> but I finally just decided to go ahead and pick it up and see if it works out for me. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this and see just how it wears on my skin. I feel like I should love this because I love a lot of Tom Fords and this is like a classic and I do love smelling it out of the box. I just are out of the bottle. I'm just always scared about jasmine fragrances. So I really hope that this works out for me once I actually wear it. So next up, I have two fragrances that I ordered from the brand Keys Perfumes. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's either Keys or Kais, uh, but of course I will leave it down below. But I have two fragrances that I picked up from the brand. I have ordered samples from them previously, but I've never actually ordered a full bottle. Um, so I finally decided to pick up a couple that I was interested in. And this first one is my reason for the order. It's a new fragrance to them. And this is called Cacao Noisette. So Keys, if you've never heard of them, they are an indie brand. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like. Not my favorite type of bottle, but it's not horrible either. <laughs> I think these fragrances retail for around $35, if I remember correctly. And this one is a hazelnut. I believe like hazelnut chocolate fragrance. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, I stuck my nose in there too quick. <laughs> but this is good. It smells like Nutella kind of. Yeah, it definitely smells like Nutella, like hazelnut chocolate, very gourmand. This is really nice. It is very gourmand though, and it's sweet, but it's not so sweet that it would be overpowering in my opinion. But it, it definitely smells like Nutella. So if you don't like chocolate scents, don't even waste your time with this. If you've ever tried Angel Muse, 
I know a lot of people say that is a Nutella scent. Uh, well, this is like Angel Muse without the patchouli and other stuff going on. This is more of a simple Nutella scent. Chocolate, hazelnut, goodness. Sweet, but not too sweet. Kind of smells like cocoa powder mixed with it. So yeah, that is Cacao Noisette. The other one that I picked up from the brand is Dosser Brulee. And this one smells like creme brulee. I have tried a sample of this before, but it's been a while. So let's smell it. So yes, this definitely smells like creme brulee. So it's sweet, a little bit spicy. I don't eat creme brulee, but I feel like it does have a distinctive smell. Like the, if you've ever had the creme brulee latte from Starbucks, it smells like that. <laughs> So sweet, spicy, a little bit like milky or creamy and almost like a toasted smell to it. So I'm super excited to wear this one as well. So next up is one from the brand Zerzhov and this was from the Casa Marathi line and this one is Grand Balo. So I actually haven't even opened this one yet. So this will be my first sniff of this. So here's the box and it slides out. So that's really cool. And the fragrance sits in there, which is kind of falling out. Okay, I stuck her back in there. So now she's secure, <laughs> but she kind of just sits in there, which I think is really nice. Um, so I did order the one ounce bottle of the this one. Now I may be in the minority, but I don't like the larger bottles out of the Casa Marathi line because they have the picture on them. And I just, I don't like the pictures. <laughs> So they also have a tassel, which I actually think the tassel is cute. And I know a lot of people don't like the tassel, but I like the tassel on the large bottles, but I don't like the picture to me. It, I don't want to offend anybody, but it cheapens the look of the bottle to me. So I prefer the one ounce bottles. Um, so yeah, that's what I picked up. And this is Grand Ballo, like I said. And this has been said to be like a grown up version of Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture. So that's why I picked it up. <laughs> Because y'all know, if you watch my Memorable Scents video, y'all know I like Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. Uh, but I don't wear it much because I feel like it's kind of a bit young for me. I wore it a lot when I was younger. So I'll see how this one smells. Yes, it actually does. <laughs> it does remind me of Juicy Couture. So it's fruity and kind of playful smelling. It seems a little light. Definitely has that same like caramel vibe that Juicy Couture have. But this one also has like more of a perfumey smell than Juicy Couture. So I do like this, it is pretty. But I don't know if it smells different enough from Juicy Couture for me to justify the price tag on this one, just being completely honest. I do like it, I think it's cute little bottle, but as of right now, I'm not sure about this one because like I said, this is not cheap, it's Zerzhov. And it does smell very similar to Juicy Couture. So I'll have to update y'all later and let you guys know if this ends up working out for me. So the next one I've been super excited to try since I heard this fragrance was coming out. And this is from the brand Gallagher Parfums. They are a indie fragrance house. And this one is called Behold Patchouli. So there's what the bottle looks like. And I like their bottles. I'm not in love with them, but I like how simple they are. They also have the notes on them, which makes it very easy for people that talk about fragrances. So um, that's helpful. So let's go ahead and spray the box. This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. I have been wanting a orange and chocolate scent and when I heard about this one, based on the name, you know, it's Behold Patchouli. So if you don't know, if you don't see the notes there, then you probably think, okay, it's just a lot of patchouli in this. And I definitely smell patchouli in this. But overall, I smell bright citrus mixed with a deep, dark chocolate. Mmm, like a smooth chocolate too. And I, I, like I said, I do smell the patchouli, but to me, the patchouli is not overwhelming. If anything, I would think the better name for this would be like Behold Orange Chocolate or something. I don't know, <laughs> but this, oh my gosh. So far, this brand has not disappointed me at all. I only own two fragrances from the brand, but every time I smell one, and I smelled a couple samples from them as well, 
I'm impressed. I have not been disappointed yet. So, oh, this smells so good. So good. I cannot wait to wear this. Yes. Okay. So, so far, this is a love for me. I haven't worn it on my skin, but based on the other fragrance that I own from them, Rose All Day, if it wears like that, then this is definitely a winner in my book. So speaking of chocolate, I do have another fragrance and this one was actually gifted to me by my husband. So this is one that I smelled before, um, but I had never actually pulled a trigger on it. So I have smelled it and I liked it. I had a small sample of it, but I didn't pull the trigger and he ended up getting it for me. But this is Prada Candy Nights. And I know some of you guys are probably like Prada Candy, but to me, first of all, regular Prada candy, I used to love. It's just that it ran its course with me. I still think it smells beautiful though. So I know a lot of people don't like Prada candy, but I'm in the minority, I do. <laughs> and when I spelled Prada candy night, I thought that it's a nice take on Prada candy that smells different enough to warrant purchasing. So um, even though my husband bought it for me, it's on my long list of fragrances that I want to try. So, <laughs> um, so this is what the bottle looks like, like the other Prada candy bottles. And I think it's gorgeous. It has that dark, deep color to it. So to me, this one smells like regular Prada candy, but adds some deep, dark chocolate to it. But this fragrance is not so deep that you couldn't wear it during the daytime. I actually have worn this one. This is the only one that I wore at all. I only wore it one time. But um, I have worn this during the day and I thought it smelled delicious. Um, now, if you own Prada Candy and you love it, I still think this is different enough that you could have both um, because that chocolate note kind of takes over this fragrance. And I also feel like there's a little bit of something green in here. I'm not sure what the notes are. But this is definitely not as sickeningly sweet as what Prada Candy, regular Prada Candy could be. But you can definitely still smell the Prada Candy DNA in there. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, this is just a really pretty, nice scent for date night, for colder days. I don't think that will probably work that well in the hotter days. But date night, any time of year, it would definitely work. Netflix and chill type scent. I think this is a really nice one. Um, and it's something that you can easily find at like any local department store. Fun fact, for Christmas, my big gift that my husband got me was a camera. However, because of the shipping, it didn't get here on time. So on Christmas Eve, my husband was like, well, do you want me to just go buy you another gift? And I was like, no, don't worry about it. But he really wanted me to open something on Christmas Day. <laughs> So he bought me this like last minute, like we went to the mall last minute Sephora and he got me this one, um, it, it, I picked it out. But he just wanted to have something for me to unwrap so that my kids would see me unwrapping at least one or two gifts um, as opposed to me not really opening anything. So I thought that was sweet. It wasn't something like it was a last minute Christmas Eve, let's go out and get something real quick <laughs> for their benefit. Um, <laughs> But um, I'm, I'm now filming on my new camera, so I'm still trying to get the hang of it. But so far, I am loving it. It's one that, of course, I told him I wanted. He would never just buy me a camera. Well, he would, but um, I didn't want him buying me something expensive like a camera without me actually picking it out. Hopefully, that makes sense. But anyway, so next up, I have one fragrance from Mancera, and it comes in this gold pouch. I picked this up in one of the smaller bottles. I actually prefer the look of the smaller bottles, uh, but a lot of times they're not available or they're not as well priced as the large bottles from Mancera. Um, but if I can find a smaller bottle and it's a good price, then I'll get that over the big bottle any day. So this one is Red Tobacco. And it's one that I've been interested in for a while, but it gets very, very mixed reviews. <laughs> some people hate it and some people love it. And when I was looking this up before, probably like maybe like earlier this year, I was looking this up. I couldn't find a lot of reviews from women on this fragrance. It was mainly men. Uh, and then I saw DDG LA Diva's video featuring this fragrance and I like her taste. I love watching her videos and she didn't like this one. <laughs> so then I was kind of like, mm, maybe I shouldn't get it. But here we are, I pulled the trigger on it finally and I hope it works out for me. So let's spray it. 
Okay. So there's definitely, you can smell the tobacco in this. I also smell something like hay or something. I'm not sure if hay is a note, but I smell something similar to hay and tobacco. And also maybe some amber. This one is a different one. Uh, right off the bat, it kind of reminds me of Serge Luton's Shergi, which I do own, but I haven't worn it enough. This kind of reminds me of that, but with more tobacco. Definitely more tobacco. And the tobacco on this doesn't smell smoky like a cigarette. It smells like... I guess it smells more like chewing tobacco or something. I'm not sure. But it, it doesn't smell smoky, and it doesn't necessarily smell sweet either. Okay, so this one's interesting. I'll have to see how it wears on the skin. I do like it right off the bat, but it does smell a bit masculine as well. So we'll have to see how I like this one after I actually wear it. But I mean, I like it right now. I just don't know if it's gonna work like on me, if that makes sense. So, so far so good. I do like it, but we'll have to see how it plays with my skin and you know, how it wears. I know it's probably gonna wear like all day and be kind of beast mode, but sometimes with scents like this, that can be kind of a bad thing because it can be a bit overpowering, <laughs> but so far, I do like it. We'll just have to stay tuned and see if this ends up working out for me. Next up, I have three fragrances that I actually picked up from Marshalls on different days. But this first one, I actually showed you guys in a vlog. This is from the brand Commodity and it's called Vetiver. And so I have, I haven't worn this, but I have smelled it, of course, because I showed y'all on the vlog. And this is what the bottle looks like. I think the bottle looks really nice, um, it's kind of plain, but I like the frosted glass and I don't know, something about it I really like. But this to me smells like a creamy sandalwood scent. So even though it says vetiver, I think sandalwood is probably the most prominent note in here, but I definitely smell the vetiver, but I think it's like vetiver, sandalwood and tropical notes if I remember. Yes, that's what it smells like to me like sandalwood, then vetiver, and then like some tropical fruits. So I'm really excited to wear this because this was like a blind buy. I got an awesome deal on this. I think I paid $18 for this 100 ml box. So I can't wait to actually fully wear this one. I sprayed it on my hand and wore it for a couple hours. And I was really impressed with that, but I'm ready to like immerse myself in this scent and see how well it really wears. But so far I'm loving this one. Both. So the other two fragrances that I got from Marshalls are from Laura Mercier. And the first one is Creme Brulee. And I actually used to own a travel size of this like a while ago, like a long, long time ago. I honestly didn't even know they still made this scent, but apparently they do. So it was in Marshalls, so I picked it up. And let's see if it smells like what I remember. Yeah. <laughs> so it's sweet, kind of vanilla, kind of smells like there's some apricot or something in here. Now, my, in my opinion, it doesn't necessarily smell like a creme brulee because that other fragrance that I mentioned from Kais or from Keith Perfumes, to me, that smells like natural creme brulee. This one smells like kind of like fruity vanilla with just a tiny bit of spice to it. So this one is definitely more of a lightweight scent. Um, even though it doesn't necessarily smell like creme brulee, I do think that it smells good. It's just not... It's not amazing for me at this point, <laughs> but it does smell really good. And I definitely think you could wear this year round. Uh, like I said, I've owned this before. And when I used to own the little travel sprays of this before, I like to spray them like at home, like when I first wake up, because they're just a light, like dusting of smell, almost like a body spray, but they smell really good and they don't smell like a cheap body spray. And this was only $16.99. So for fragrances that are like in this price range, I don't expect as much. So for this to smell like a body spray to me, it's perfectly okay with me because it's $16.99 and I'm kind of gonna use it in the same way that people use body sprays from like Bath and Body Works or whatever. So it is really nice. Um, it's just not anything amazing. <laughs> and then this other one that I picked up was actually only $14.99, so it was a little bit cheaper, but it is Verbena Infusion. And I've never owned this one before, but this is what it looks like. 
So let's spray it. Okay, so this smells like lime or lemon. I'm not sure what verbena is. I don't know if that's a fruit or what, but this definitely smells like a, a mix between a lime and a lemon. So it's very like bright and sparkling smelling. <laughs> Yeah, very crisp. I really like this. I'm surprised. I actually really like this. And this is from their Eau Fraiche line, which makes perfect sense. I actually just sold my Guerlain Limon Verde because I just, I didn't find myself reaching for it and I just wasn't impressed with it, honestly. If you saw my collection video, then you may have heard me talk about that one. This one to me basically replaces that, but I actually... Let's see how this one performs because I, I don't know. I don't want to say that this one is better because like I said, I haven't worn it. But as of right now, I'm thinking that kind of is going to replace the Limon Verde for me. So the next two I have not smelled at all and I've been super excited to try them. Um, they're both from the brand Essential Parfums. So this is what the box looks like. And with Essential Parfums, they are known for basically working with famous perfumers and producing fragrances that are unique but they don't put a lot of money into packaging or advertising or whatever so that they can make the best fragrances possible with very good ingredients so i like that idea um, but i actually do like the bottle so let me unwrap this let's see so i have to say the packaging was super hard to get into this let me show y'all what i have left these random cardboard pieces in this. Like, <laughs> I basically had to tear this whole thing apart to get into the bottle, so. But I got my bottle out and this is what it looks like. I actually like the shape of the bottle. It feels very well made. The simplicity makes it look expensive, even though these are not extremely expensive fragrances. But this first one is called Divine Vanille. And this is the one that I have been interested in the longest. It's the first one that I heard of from the brand and I think I first heard about this from Anna Absolute, I believe, here on YouTube. Um, but yeah, she picked this up and I remember her really liking it. I don't even remember what her description of it was at this point. But I remember that I liked it so much that I added it to my wish list. So here we are. So like I said, this first one is Divine Vanille and it's by Olivier Peshu. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but he is a famous master perfumer. So let's smell it. I have been super excited to try these. And these bottles retail for, I may be wrong, but I know I'm close. If I don't have it exactly right, I think they retail for $75 and they are 100 ml bottles. So I think that is really very reasonable. Okay, so right off the bat, this doesn't smell how I expected it to. <laughs> That's not a bad thing though. So because it's called Divine Vanille, I think I expected this to smell more like vanilla. <laughs> and I definitely smell the vanilla in this. But it also smells like tobacco. And to me, the tobacco is more prominent than the vanilla. Now this doesn't smell like Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, even though I kind of just described Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, but... <laughs> To me, tobacco vanilla is a lot sweeter. This one is more of a fresh smell. This is different, but I like it. Okay, I can't wait to actually wear this on my skin. It is different than what I expected, to be completely honest. I thought this was more like a smoky, deep vanilla. But that's not what I'm getting on this paper. So if something changes once I actually wear this, I'll let y'all know. But right now, I'm getting like a brighter tobacco vanilla that's kind of on the fresher side and I really like it it's just different than what I expected so I'm excited to play around with this one so the next one is called the musk and the perfumer on this one is Callis Becker and I noticed that I like a lot of fragrances that she's done she's done a lot for Killian and pretty much all the Killian scents that I've smelled that she's done I've enjoyed so that's why I picked this one up I was between this one and another fragrance. Um, I forgot which one, but I ended up picking up this one because she did it. <laughs> so let's smell it. Okay. This one smells fresh and clean and a little fruity. And right off the bat, it reminds me of the Kaoli Musk. 
but they are different. In my opinion, Kayali smells a lot like a sweeter musk, where this one is not as sweet. This one is more... It almost smells like a linen mixed with musk, like a very clean sheets when you're using super expensive <laughs> detergent or fabric softener or whatever. Mm. This smells really good, y'all. Very clean smelling musk. I really like this. And the longer it sits on this paper, the more that I feel like it's starting to bloom per se. Like I feel like the scent is getting fuller as it sits here. This is really good, y'all. I am loving this. This has been a good haul so far. I am glad that I'm kind of branched out into some different scents than what I would normally choose. Okay, this, this is amazing. I can't wait to wear this one. So I'm excited to wear this one and I'll have to report back to y'all at a later date. So we're almost at the end and I have to say, I did save the best for last. So hopefully you guys are still here. I've been super excited to try these and I don't know if they're gonna be the best fragrances that I picked up. It's just the one that I was most excited about. And yeah, so let me just show you. So I have all of this <laughs> from Maison Dior. So I have an explanation though. So this is what this box looks like. Hopefully it doesn't switch up my coloring too much because I know sometimes we show white on camera and it just completely messes up the lighting. So hopefully that didn't happen, but let's pull it out. So here's the actual box inside the box. So this is the actual package. I'm gonna open it up. And look at that y'all, look at that. So let me tell y'all, I, I believe maybe for Cyber Monday or something, they had this deal going where if you spent over a certain amount, you got this whole thing for free. For free, for free y'all. Like I couldn't believe it. I thought it was some sort of mistake. Now I'm always on Dior site looking at the Maison Dior fragrances. So I get emails from them telling me when deals are going on. And they're always giving away like free samples and stuff like that. But I have never seen anything as amazing as this. And I think you had to spend like $200. No. So yeah, I think you had to spend like $250 or something like that. I could be wrong, but you got this whole thing for free. They do sell this set for, I believe, like $300 or something ridiculous. And so to me, it didn't make sense to not get this set. Like... <laughs> But yeah, I this is just amazing. So it comes with four, five, six, seven, eight, eight uh, deluxe samples and then four soaps, which I think is just absolutely amazing. Now, some of these samples I do already own, like it has Ombre Nui in here. So I obviously already own that one, but the rest of them I do not own. So yeah. I have not smelled any of these yet. I'm not going to smell them here on camera because that would just be such a long thing to do, but I'm just excited to have this. And initially when I got it, I was like, you know, what am I going to do with all these sample sizes? I'm still kind of like figuring out what am I going to do with this? Some people sell the little bottles online and I've done that before, but I don't know. I kind of don't want to break up my package because look at this, y'all. <laughs> that's so cute I love it so I don't know I do want to get some use out of it but I probably what I'll probably do is probably just sit on this for a while and then eventually I'll start using it but um yeah I'm super excited to play with these and then on to the stuff that I actually paid for so it's all in this box I have opened this because I always open my packages like for the most part I need to make sure that what I ordered is in there and although I opened it I didn't like play around with these fragrances. So um, yeah, this is what the box looks like. This is a nice like magnetic lid box. It's wrapped up in there. Like I said, I did pop this open because I need to see my stuff and make sure it's actually in there. <laughs> but um, I tried to kind of rewrap it for you guys. So it comes with this nice like sticker of their branding. And then inside it has like a dust bag and some samples and a little pillow that they always put in their orders. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. They always send their samples in these little bags, which I think are super cute. So I got a mascara, 
I got a deluxe travel size, travel size of Rose Gypsy. So this is one of these size bottles, which I think is a very nice size sample. I think these are seven and a half mLs. Like, come on. And then also a two mL sample of Rose Gypsy. And then I also got this for free. So look, all the stuff I got for free, like everything I've shown you so far, I've got for free, which is crazy to me. But this is a Dior Joy sample box. Okay, so this comes with a little miniature bottle of Dior Joy and a lotion. And then I ordered two fragrances from the Maison Dior line. So the first one I have is Bois de Argent. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But this first one I got in the 40 ml size, which they don't have for all of their fragrances. But if they do have them, that's the size that I prefer just because the, the price is $100. And it's still like a good amount of fragrance. So that's Bois de Argent. And I honestly don't remember what this is supposed to smell like. <laughs> It's been on my wish list for a little bit, but I don't remember what it's supposed to smell like. So right off the bat, I think it smells kind of woody and maybe herbal in a way. Maybe not, maybe not herbal. Maybe that's not the right word. So I smell iris in this, but it's not a super powdery feminine iris. A lot of times when I smell iris in a fragrance, to me, it smells very feminine. That's not the case with this one. There's iris, but I think there's like incense in there and maybe a bit of woods in there. This is very well blended. And it's not your like sensitive iris, if that makes sense. <laughs> this is like showstopper iris. This is really, really nice. I cannot wait to wear this one. This one smells really good and it really smells different than anything I've smelled before. Yes, I, I love this one. I can't wait to wear this. Um, I'm not sure what the notes, but you probably see them here on the screen somewhere anyway. But yeah, this is Boy de Argent and I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'm trying my best y'all. So yeah, super excited to wear this one. And then the very last fragrance in today's video is this one and it's Santal Noir. So based on the name, I'm pretty sure this is a sandalwood scent. Uh, but again, like I said, I don't remember the notes. It's been a while since I ordered this. <laughs> okay, this is a woody sandalwood. That sounded stupid, but <laughs> a lot of sandalwoods smell more creamy. This one smells more woody. Like, oh, this is good. So this is definitely very woody and spicy. Maybe a touch, just a small touch of powder in here. And it also kind of smells like there could be some oud in there. I'm not sure if oud is a no. It's probably just a sandalwood, but that's what it kind of smells like to me. Like there could be some very smooth oud in there along with the sandalwood. Mmm. This one is definitely probably too strong to wear in hot weather, but in cold weather, mmm. This is like a standout. This is a strong unisex scent. I don't think it leans masculine or feminine, to be honest. But I do think that if you don't like unisex scents and you're a woman, then you won't like this. But this smells really good, y'all. Spicy sandalwood, possibly some oud, and just a small, the smallest, smallest, smallest touch of a little bit of a powdery floral in there so i am super excited to wear this super excited super super excited to wear this oh i cannot wait to see how this does on my skin because right now as i'm smelling this i just can imagine me like walking in a room and everybody's telling me how good i smell <laughs> it's one of those so I am super excited to finally be able to wear my fragrances that I've been holding back from myself for so long. Um, the only one that I think may be a fail is the Zerzhov Grand Ballo. I don't want to call it a fail right now, but so far that's the one that's probably I'm the least excited about after smelling. Everything else I'm happy with. 
and I cannot wait to actually try these on my skin and see how they work out for me. There are some more haul videos you'll see in the future, just a few more, just because I picked up some fragrances from Zara. I kind of wanted them to have their own video. And then I have two more fragrances that I ordered kind of at the same time as all of this, but I'm going to put those in my love, like, or let down series. So just keep an eye out for that. I didn't want to share them in this video because honestly, I wasn't going to like unwrap them or anything. So I kind of felt like it was pointless. And this video was already long enough, like basically an hour. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have purchased any fragrances lately, leave them down below. I want to know what you guys have been trying out. If you have any of these fragrances, let us know what you think of them down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this super long video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.